The National Science Center was established in 1992. It is one of the largest science center in Asia. It was inaugurated on the 9th of January 1992 by the then Prime Minister of India, P. V. Narsimha Rao. The building was designed by noted Indian architect Achyut Kanvinde. The museum contains several permanent galleries. Water, the Elixir of Life Gallery, Science and Technology Heritage Gallery, Human Biology Gallery, Prehistoric Life Gallery, Hall of Nuclear Power Gallery, Fun Science Gallery, Water, the Elixir of Life Gallery. At this juncture, when there are well-researched speculations of ensuing water stress in India, water education for the students and people becomes critical. So, the National Council of Science Museums and the Delhi Jal Board collaborated to create a water education facility at the premises of the National Science Centre, Delhi. The gallery especially tries to sensitize people about the misuse of water, particularly in Delhi. You can also get details about various water treatment and water sewage treatment plants in Delhi, which are managed by Delhi Jal Board. Various kind of water saving instruments developed by various agencies has also been displayed in the gallery. Science and Technology Heritage Gallery the Indian civilization has a long recorded history of scientific culture that goes back to more than 5,000 years. This gallery portrays the rich contributions of ancient India in science and technology. In this exhibit we can study that Harappas were the first to adopt systematic town planning. The exhibit consists of the various models collected during excavation. We can see the technological traditions of Harappans in ceramics, pottery, refined personal ornaments, metallurgy, steatite, agate and shell ornaments. This exhibit as a model showing the making of bangles with help of the shells. Prasashala Ancient Indian Chemical Lab this exhibit shows how different kinds of apparatus were used in extraction of medicines in the chemical lab of Nagarjuna. Ayurveda Ancient Indian Medical System This exhibit tells about the Ayurveda science in the Vedic period. It introduces us to the science of life that originated in ancient India. Sushratha, the plastic surgeon this exhibit tells how the great Shushruta had used surgery techniques in olden days. It introduces us about the various surgical equipment used. Crucibles, shapers of metal technology, this exhibit tells the story of the use of crucibles in the metal extraction. Iron smelting, exploiting the master metal, this exhibit has a model of furnace used in extraction of iron. Legendary Indian wood steel, this exhibit tells us about that special iron which was used by Indians to prepare the swords in the olden periods.
Techniques of coin making This model tell us the method used in minting coins in the olden periods. Noria and Sakvia, the art devices of Indian origin, this is the model of a water pumping system used in Egypt which was copied from India. The art and technology of cannons, this exhibit introduces us to the art of making cannons and the use of multi-barrel cannons in the past. Indian musical instruments, this exhibit consists of some musical instruments of Indian origin. Music is very old to India. Human Biology Gallery A gallery on human biology is on the fourth floor of the center. The gallery aims to portray the human body in all its aspects. Anatomical, physiological, biochemical, structural, functional and systemic. The gallery covers an approximate area of 1724 square meter and houses 118 interactive exhibits. The gallery aims to address the following issues. What is special about the structure and function of the human body? To clear myths and create a rational understanding of the human body and thus demystify the human body. Educate the visitors on immunity, diseases, and healthy living. To make the visitors aware of the new concepts in biology like genetic engineering and biotechnology. Prehistoric Life Gallery The new gallery is a recreation of a world that none of us have seen as it existed millions of years ago and many of its life forms have become extinct by now. Selected 35 species of life forms of different ages such as trilobites, giant scorpions, early birds, gigantic dinosaurs, and other living creatures up to Neanderthal man have been presented in the gallery with artificially created matching ambience and special light and sound effects. Since most of the species displayed are electro-pneumatically animated, it adds a new dimension to the gallery. 
all of nuclear power nuclear technology as many things it is electricity it is medicine it is research tool it is friend of the farmer it is detective and much more the gallery has a fascinating audiovisual and interactive feast in store for the visitors with an array of over 60 permanent exhibits depicting the various aspects of nuclear energy and applications of radiation for the betterment of human life and the environment. The gallery also focuses on several salient aspects of nuclear power generation, from mining and processing of uranium ore, to fabrication of nuclear fuel, and from the innards of a nuclear power plant, to the actual principles and mechanisms that form the basis of nuclear power generation. Fun Science Gallery Science has always been a subject which has been dealt with a lot of seriousness in schools. This textbookish approach has made science a very drab and uninteresting subject in the impressionable minds of young children. This gallery seeks to escape from this trap by the method of keep it simple make it fun. A whole world of wonder and amazement awaits the visitors here with many interactive hands-on exhibits.